are a lot of questions and concerns about the environment in the wake of that crash. 59 News reporter Tom Rader spoke with an environmental expert at Albright College and has more. What's in the air that we breathe and how can it affect us? The concerns are always if there could be you know, health impacts in the local area of people breathing in this chemical. Laura McBride is an assistant professor at Albright College and recently contributed to a study regarding wildfires and their impact on the ozone. She's paying close attention to the train crash near the Ohio-Pennsylvania line and the chemical being carried, vinyl chloride. That all depends on what the chemical is and just how it reacts in the atmosphere. So as this incident continues to be followed and studied, what could be the air quality impact from Ohio to right here in Reading? Is it reacting and going away, essentially? Locally, is it staying around or can it be transported? And then it's a problem for not just the local area, but other areas surrounding it. McBride says because there's not a lot of prior incidents to compare when it comes to vinyl chloride being released like this, time and continued air quality testing will tell. If it does not react right away, then there could be concern if it's transported and if it poses a threat. Not all chemicals in the atmosphere pose a threat to human health or to the environment. With this latest incident where the environment and the corporate industrial world collide, what does it say about those two sides and the desire to protect people? There will be accidents. We can never be accident free, but we can try to improve our safeguards and the measures that we use to make sure that we won't be something as big happening or could try to prevent something like this happening in the future. Tom Rader, 69 News.